Hey, what's going on guys? Kaman here and welcome to the last ever episode of my Road to 100 Mail series. So this is the 12th episode, 12th episode, and uh, this whole series has taken taken me ages. The reason for this is because uh, I kept taking long breaks in between, uh, in between episodes due to various reasons, and in those breaks my items would crash in value and I would have to rebuy or re-money make remake the money uh, and it just overall took ages so I've probably already made more than 100 mil as I stated in the last uh, episode uh, and this is the cash that I have now so what I was thinking of doing is uh, I was thinking of doing flipping QBD as usual uh, in addition to some other money makers but uh, now I've got a certain plan a uh, defined definite plan should I say for this episode so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a melee setup. Now I haven't done this in ages uh, because I'm going to go Frost Dragons. Now I got this idea or I remembered about Frost Dragons uh, when I saw Jim Source. I'm not sure if any of you guys know of Jim Source on RS, but he's another daily uh, RS vid maker. And uh, in yesterday's video, or was it today's video? He uh, he talked about Frost Dragons money making, and yeah. I just remembered about it. I used to be a huge money maker back in the day. I used to camp it a lot, and uh, it was really fun. So that's what I'm going to do now. And if I have any uh, leftover money uh, after gear, I will spend it flipping. So uh, I'll come back after I've geared up. Okay, guys. So I finally geared, and I have 27 mil to spare. So this is the final gearing layout that I had. Uh, I bought most of these off the Grand Exchange using the Flipchat One FC. So I bought it for the lower uh, prices, lowest prices. Uh, it did take a while, but it's worth it in the end because you end up saving a lot, and, I'm, and I wasn't really in any rush to go, so uh, I was willing to give up the time. Uh, and now I've got also 27 mil, which I'm going to spend flipping probably armor while I go to the Frost Dragon, so that gives me uh, more profit. So yeah, this is my uh, layout. The Chaotic Mall was from, I think, a, I'm not sure how many episodes ago, I did mention that I was dungeoning. And I got the mall. So I, I forgot which episode it was, but I think I mentioned it either way. Uh, so I've got the mall. I've got these and the rest of the gear I just bought. So uh, enough of the rambling and on to uh, the money making. I'll probably be back uh, after yeah, a couple of hours or maybe four. I'm thinking four or five hours doing it. Uh, solid for four, four or five hours camping frost. Because personally, I really find it fun. Uh, it's what I find these types of these types of things fun as you can see my maxed melee I just love melee and once I finished it it kind of made it boring for me so I'm really looking forward to uh, camping frosts anyway enough of the rambling even though I said it of rambling and uh, on to the next clip okay guys so I figured that you guys might be a bit bored if I if all I did was uh, show you guys me at the bank speaking about what I did at frost dragons so I decided that I'm going to uh, actually show myself well uh, record myself a little at Frost Dragon so you can see uh, what I do and I just realized that I didn't prepare my abilities at all that was a stupid move by me and uh, yeah so basically when you're doing Frost Dragons what you need to watch out for is a blue uh, orb that goes around the dragon and if it does come around the dragon instantly move away from the dragon because that means that all damage you do is going to come back straight at you uh, and that's going to hurt a lot believe me so um, yeah that's all there really is to it you just camp it my favorite type of RS activity uh, melee camping is what I live for in RS and uh, this is perfect for money making because that's all it is and um, it's awesome so yeah I'll see you guys uh, after I finish this okay guys so for those of you that like to look at my setup and uh, edit theirs according to mine I'm, I've just made a, like a general setup that you guys might want to follow uh, while take while going to frost dragons so I've already showed you the gear the bandos with the uh, with the whisper and zerka and as for the uh, the invent I recommend you bring super antifires uh, some potions uh, a little bit of emergency food just in case uh, they don't really deal that much damage if you have soul split this is all assuming you have soul split uh, by the way uh, a couple of spare yak pouches some uh, scrolls so you can bank all the loot and uh, the beast of burden full of uh, prayer potions or super restores personally I like to use super restores because they can boost uh, they can help with the uh, special scroll thingy and uh, the money is made back either way so it's fine with me um, 
and for abilities all you need really is a is a load of basic abilities because uh, I found that I would be cleaving through the frost dragons left right and center you don't really need any threshold or ultimate abilities uh, and that's all really to go there you teleport to Port Sarum uh, and go walking there and that's all really uh, other than a teleport in case for an emergency so uh, yeah that's my uh, basic gear setup and uh, onto the next clip okay guys so uh, I've just finished I think around five hours of the frost dragons now I say five hours and I only judge that from um, I only judge that from the time that the songs uh, that I listened to tell me how long they were so it might not be exactly five hours or four hours so it's I say four to five hours of uh, frost dragons and the loot is in my inventory so here it is uh, I got 790 frost dragon bones and I used abilities throughout the whole thing so um, yeah I didn't use momentum and that might be why I picked up some of the um, stackable items as you can see here uh, and let's do a quick price check so um, the rune arrows 100k not worth that much but it's tax over time and if you're gonna camp it for ages uh, for like longer than five hours or longer than me I definitely recommend taking it uh, water talismans most people don't and don't know that they're actually quite expensive and uh, they can add to quite a bit so um, I definitely recommend picking those up uh, so without the frost dragon bones it all adds up to 800k and then when we add the frost dragon bones boom 12.3 mil so that's about 2.2 mil per hour or something like that so uh, that's awesome and uh, I'm actually going to save selling these until the end of the episode so that uh, I know you, you, you can uh, be a lot better in my opinion selling a huge pile of loot and uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoy that anyway on to the next money maker so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do uh, Chaos Dwarfs for the hope of getting a dragon pick I know this might take a while uh, and in addition to that my quest points are terrible and horrible and disgusting and uh, yeah and I'm missing three quests I think so I need to do forgiveness of a Chaos Dwarf and in order to do that I need to do two other quests so I need to do the for forgettable uh, tale of a chaos of a drunken dwarf. Uh, I need to complete the gi giant dwarf for that. Oh dear! What am I doing? No! Please tell me I've already. No, I only just started it. Uh, oh well. Um, so I need to do that, and then I need to do another quest. Oh well, I'll do that now. And uh, I guess if there are any highlights, I'll include it in the video. If not, then uh, I'll just get on with the uh, money making. And I'll tell you guys once I actually get to the Chaos Dwarf. So yeah, see you guys in the next clip. Okay guys, so I finished the quests after a load of time. It took me hours to finish the quests. But now I'm at the Chaos Dwarf's uh, place. And I'm thinking of camping this for however long it takes until I get a uh, Dragon Pickaxe. Uh, so what I'm thinking of doing in addition to this standard setup is uh, also getting a normal Dwarf Cannon. And that should really help out with the kills per hour and uh, they, I should make money back either way so um, I heard it could take up to like 10 hours which I'm kind of not worrying about but I'm just expecting that it'll take a while so um, the only thing that I'm hoping is that I don't miss it well it, if, if it gets dropped on the floor and I miss it that would be bad uh, but yeah that's all for now and uh, I'll see you guys if I ever get a dragon pickaxe Okay guys, so I've been at Chaos Dwarves for an hour to two hours and uh, you guys can decide if I if I was lucky or not. Personally, I think I'm about to cry from all the I take it as bad luck. So here it is, here's my inventory. So here you can see I got five hand cannons. Now these are worth 11k each even though they're classed as rare. So I got five rare drops of hand cannons. I think these three are rare table drops because they're not in any of the... Uh, monsters drop tables so that's another three rares possibly these two possibly might not be rares but I think they are rare drops they're worth 210 GP each uh, that's not a rare that's possibly a rare and I got an effigy and I've already got I think an eff let's see how many effigies do I have in my bag I think I've got one effigy so let's see F I've got two effigies in my bag so that just means you that was even rarer guys I'm about to cry here someone comfort me uh, hopefully I still get this deep pick though. Wow. <laughs> okay guys, so I've just finished around six hours of uh I forgot the Chaos Dwarfs. Yeah, that's what they were called, Chaos Dwarfs. Should have remembered by now. 
Uh, and this is the total loot that I've had from it. So uh, as you can see, I spent two mil on cannonballs. And um, yeah, so let's do a price check of what I got in six hours. So uh, a load of these, you know, the hand cannons are rares. A class is rare. I've got so many rares, yet they're only worth so little. So I probably made a lot more on these on their shots than the actual hand cannons themselves. So um, yeah, overall. Uh, I'm not sure how the trip is. This is my first time going, so uh, all in all, we made 819k. Wait a minute, that seems a bit low. I forgot something. Ah, there it is. D pick. How could I have forgot the D pick? Okay, guys, I was just messing with you guys. So I actually, at the end of the trip, I managed to get a dragon pickaxe. Of course, I wasn't recording because if I was recording everything, I'd probably get six hours. Six hours of root RS footage in high detail with fraps will probably be. I'm not sure how how, how big the file size would be. Say one hour is about 30 gigs worth of file size, so it would be a lot uh, to say the least. So let's actually make a final price check uh, 12 mil for the actual D pick and uh, let's see, it was 800k for the rest of these. Oh, you can move this, I didn't realize. If I locked my interfaces. Um, sorry about this, guys. Just quickly trying to. Um, okay, so all in all, 13.4 mil. Now, until the end, I was thinking, uh, should I quit? Should I stick with it? I wasn't getting anything. You can imagine the feelings you get after camping six hours for nothing. But I kept through it, and uh, I kept sticking through it even, and I managed to get a D pick. So, what I'm going to do now for the last part of this. Uh, series for the last activity of the series is I'm going to go with uh, my friend Darox GS to Bandos I haven't been since it's been uh, updated to I think it's been uh, to harder mode or something so I'm still uh, inexperienced but hopefully we can get a drop otherwise uh, we might have to do a little bit of QBD make up for I think there's going to be just a little bit of overlap uh, money that's left and uh, yeah so on to the uh, Bandos Okay guys, so while we were at Bandos, we actually got a BCP split, as you can see on screen now, I'm showing you. And uh, yeah, that was quite good. We went there for about an hour. I guess we got lucky because uh, a friend of mine called Sumo uh, has been dry three trips. And the first trip we go there, we get a BCP split. And uh, that was awesome. So now you can see here uh, in my inventory, I'm at pretty much 30 mil. Um, and I've got 290k odd items in random loot. I forgot to bring my uh, banking scroll so I couldn't bank any more bones than I couldn't get any more bones other than this but uh, yeah let's so, so let's sell this uh, and then I'll come back for the total giant sale at the end of this episode. So before I do the final giant sale I decided that I would actually sell the items that my uh, gear uh, at the Flipchat 1FC so I'm going to actually get the biggest margins for it or maybe if I'm feeling lazy I'll just put it to sell for the lowest margins and uh, I'll come back after I'm done with that okay guys so I've just finished selling my armor and uh, here it is 75 mil and I've got no other armor to sell and that includes the four I think it's almost five mil split that we got at Bandos so uh, now what we need to do is price check it and then sell begin the giant selling so uh, obviously, as with most price checks, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna save the most expensive things for the last. So I'm gonna I don't know. It's not teasing. It's just keeping you guys on your toes. I guess I'm not sure. Uh, and um, okay, so hopefully this will exceed 100 mil by a decent amount, uh, so that we can compensate for the no. I hope this will exceed 100 mil because I didn't include the royal crossbow. Uh, which cost me four mil so hopefully all of this together exceeds uh, 100 mil if it doesn't then uh, time to go to QBD so uh, on to the big big price checks now so uh, boom 14 mil boom 27 mil and boom 102 mil so guys with this I need to sell it hopefully this doesn't sell for under and I'll be back here it is guys 77 mil and the rest is in the GE so I had to sell the dragon pick because it's crashing quite badly for quite a bit under and here it's, here's how much I bought it for uh, for sold it for even and 
There guys, we finally did it. Finally finished it. <laughs> Ironically, I did like a quarter of the money in the last episode, but that was just to show that uh, the main money, the main way to make money is to actually stick with your money makers and uh, camp. I mean, if I was actually going to uh, make money, I would camp, 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 but this point of this series was to show you guys a load of different money making methods that you could use uh, and uh, not just to camp on single money making methods. So, what I'm planning to do with this 100 mil isn't to keep it. This 100 mil, I actually want to uh, give it away, uh, split it between all the people that actually go to come to our next event. Now, I don't want this to be like a giveaway. I don't want people to sub for 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 giveaways. I mean, if you're new to this channel, if you're if you just tuned in or just watched this video and seen this, and you want to sub just because of giveaways, I would say now this is probably going to be maybe the only giveaway. Uh, because I don't, we don't, we don't like getting subs uh, that only here for giveaways because they're not active subs. They're not here for our content. This is just a way we want to. Th well, I want to thank uh, our subscribers. And uh, seeing as this is a series I made for you guys, I, it doesn't really hurt me that I'm going to uh, give away this 100 mil. So uh, hopefully, uh, so what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to take down the names of everyone who comes to our next event uh, and then split it between them after the event uh, so I'm just I'm thinking there might be like 30 people that come so maybe I don't know three mil each or plus so uh, yeah that should be good and uh, as for the next series I'm planning to make a uh, series where I uh, don't start from scratch I start from what I have and try to get all the next sets so, th so that should be fun and uh, yeah that's all that, that's all I've planned for now thank you guys for watching it took a while but here it is 100 mil uh, what more can I say? Hundred two one four mil. I don't even I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Thank you guys for watching the series and uh, look forward to the next series. Bye.